I'm Wendy Means, and I'm going to show you how to do a bee painting. The supplies you need for this are something to draw with, so a pencil and eraser. I used a black Sharpie for outlining. You can use markers to um, color in the bee and the flowers if you want, or you can use uh, paint. I used these colors um, with acrylic paint, but you can also use tempera paint. Need some art paper. I used, um, this is watercolor paper because it's thicker. And you need some bubble wrap. If you don't have bubble wrap, you can use a sponge to do the background, or you can just paint your background. You need some paint brushes. A thin, sort of pointy one is good for some of the detail. You need a water container and some paper towel. Okay, go grab your supplies. Let's get creating. Let's start by drawing our bee and our scene that we want our bee on. So I'm gonna start sort of part way down. So here's my center and I'm gonna come up a little bit and I'm gonna do this middle circle first. So I'm gonna make it pretty big like so. And then I'm going to do the head part. So a circle like that for the head. And then this part's kind of a circle that has a pointy part at the back. So kind of more like an oval. You could do like two lines like this and then they meet like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do some, you can do some fun sort of antenna. And then we can do some wings. So I'm gonna start my wings kind of not quite in the center, just a little bit up. And I'm going to do a curve like that, kind of an angled curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just turn my paper to make it a little easier. And try and make them equal if you can. And then I'm going to go around, curve around and come back to here. Curve around and come back to here. And then they kind of have a double wing, so you can do another curve and back. Curve and back. And then I'm going to erase, even though the wings are kind of see-through, I'm not gonna make mine see-through. It kind of looks more pretty like this. So we're just gonna erase these lines that are kind of underneath. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video so you can catch up. There we go. Okay, those look pretty good. All right, now we can do, you can do some uh, stripes if you want. So that's gonna be black. And then I'm gonna leave a space and then I'm gonna do some more stripes. I'm gonna do the black ones smaller so I can figure out which ones are supposed to be black. And then their bum is usually kind of black. Okay, and they have six legs. So you can kind of draw where you want the legs to be first. I'm gonna do two coming from here. So there's one, two, and then one, two, and then we're gonna do two more coming from the front, like so. And you can make them all where they have curves like this. I'm gonna do this later with the marker. I think that will be easier. Great, so we have our B all drawn. And now you can decide, you can have flowers maybe, or just the beehive. So yeah, you can just do uh, some flowers in the background if you want. So I'm just did a circle and then I'm doing these petals. And I'm doing five petals. And yeah, you can do them different sizes, different shapes, whatever kind of flower you want to do. It's, I'm kind of making my 
petals look like leaves almost. And we'll do one more, maybe. This one can maybe have a whole bunch like that. So it's slightly different. And art is more interesting when you have things in odd numbers. So I'm going to do one more. So it's three. Yeah. Great. Let's kind of spread them out wherever you want. So I've squeezed some paint onto my palette. I have yellow ochre, which is kind of like yellow and brown put together. If you don't have this color, you can make your own by adding a tiny bit of brown to yellow. Uh, cadmium yellow and white. So to do this honeycomb sort of background, I'm gonna use bubble wrap. If you don't have bubble wrap, you can use a sponge or you can just paint your background whatever color you want. So I'm gonna take a piece of bubble wrap and I made it a little bit smaller. So I cut it, I cut it into, I might actually make it a little smaller. Just want it to be sort of a small area so it's easy to go around the shapes. So I'm just gonna paint on some of this paint onto here. So I've got some yellow, I've got some white. Okay, and now I'm going to just start stamping it. See, like so. I'm just gonna stamp it around. And I'm gonna try not to get it on my B, but it's not that easy. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some more. You can mix the yellow uh, together. Yes, yeah, so we're just adding some texture to our arch. And I think bubble wrap really looks like a beehive. A little bit more, a little bit of white. So I'm just going to keep stamping around things. And if I get it on top of my flowers, it's okay. Or it might be, it's fine, we can paint over it. But try not to. Okay, we'll get a little bit more in here. Ooh, that sort of darker yellow looks good. I like it. Okay, there, I think I got pretty much all around. Try and get inside of there a little bit. You can see you have to keep reapplying the paint, otherwise it stops looking like a beehive. Let's see if I can get a few in there. Great, so just, it's nice to have sort of the three colors like I have. So if you only have yellow, you can mix some with brown so you get this sort of darker color. There, that looks great. Okay, and then while it's still wet, I can sort of try and wipe some of the paint off of the bee so we don't have the texture on the bee, but we can cover all that up later. So it will be fine with paint, we're gonna cover it. So it's fine that we got some on there. We just don't want the texture kind of. So just smooth it out a little bit. Same with the flowers, just kind of smooth it out. Looks great. I'm gonna let this dry now and dry completely. And then I'm going to start coming in with a marker to outline things. All right, we'll keep going. So my B background is all dry now. So I'm going to use a marker to do lots of outlining and really making it stand out. So I'm going to fill this in black, the head part. And I'm using a Sharpie, but you can use just regular markers as well. Yeah, so I'm going to make everything. You can really see how this is an important step, the outlining, because it will really make it stand out against your background. Otherwise, it might get a little lost. So just be careful with the wings that you jump over the wings, jump over, 
And I'm just going to keep going for it with the outlining. So for this part, I'm just making sure that I'm skipping every other so that it looks like stripes. And I'm doing all the black parts first, and then I'm going to add in the other parts. So the rest of this can all be done with marker if you want. Or uh, I used paint for the flowers, but you don't have to. You can just use markers. Because once your background is dry, it's really easy to use uh, markers on top of this. Now for the wings, I'm going to use a thinner part. I have a Sharpie that has double. So they have sort of lines through like that. And then you can just do like a few diagonal lines coming off of those. Like sort of divide it. Do the same over here and divide it. And then put some of these sort of random diagonal lines. That will make it look like the wings. And you can do the same on the other side. Just do some lines going same way, go like that, and then just do some sort of random diagonal lines. And then I'm going to cover these wings probably with um, some white paint just to cover some of that sort of yellow that I got on there. There, pretty. Now the legs. The legs are, if you look at legs, they are all made up of like, it looks like little circles. So on top of the line, I'm just making circles. I'm doing it right with my marker because it'd be kind of hard to draw all this. Yeah, it looks like sort of their legs are in different sections. And I'm using the thicker part for this. I'm going to do this all the way along. And I'm going to outline these flowers too. Just so they all stand out. Uh, but you can do this with marker you want. So everything is all outlined now. Now I'm going to take some white paint and a paintbrush and I'm going to paint the wings just with a little bit of white and we're just doing sort of a really light layer so then those lines will still show through I'll kind of give it a cool effect and I'm doing this too because uh, I got some yellow on the wings so I wanted to cover them up but you can just leave them with the white paper too if you want like so. Great. I'm going to take some yellow paint and then wherever I didn't put black, I'm going to put yellow. And as I said before, you can do this with marker as well. You can go right on top of that acrylic paint. And I'm going to do this part yellow as well. And then I'm going to probably add a little bit of something into that one. There we go. 
and I'm gonna get some purple from my I'm gonna flowers. mix a little bit of purple and white together. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white so it's not as dark. And I'm just gonna paint my flowers. And then I'll show you a trick to make them look a little, have a little bit more texture. So I'll do this one with the purple. It's a pretty color, I like it. And then you can do it even lighter on the inside. So just add more white. And you can kinda just do like where your stroke, stroke, stroke out from the center like that. And then I'm gonna do all the flowers the same way. So now with this one, I might do these petals just slightly darker because they'll look like they're behind. So I'll do that. And then I might do the, let's do these back ones kind of darker. Just a little bit darker. There we go, and then we'll do the lighter. Just add a little bit of white and make it look a little. Oh, that looks pretty with the white, like that. I like that. This one's kind of absorbed in, so let's add a little bit more, the white. Great, and I'll do the top one the same. Some purple and then I'll make it lighter but you can make yours all different colors like purple and yellow are complementary colors so they're opposite on the color wheel so we know that they're really gonna stand out against each other yeah and then I'll just add a little bit of white to there give it a little bit of texture but of course, you can choose whatever colors you want. I just think these two colors look good together. Okay, we're almost done. You, once this dries, you can kind of clean it up and put some black in the center if you want. So we're just gonna add some black in the center. There we go. So our bee painting is all done. Look at all that pretty texture. And just if you um, went over some of your black lines, you can just trace over it again. You can do your finishing touches. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I can't wait to see your creations. Subscribe and like this video.